the 2024 presidential Donald Trump hopeful's ex-wife and mother of Tiffany Trump is an actress, model, musician, and philanthropist, but still gets asked about her ex decades after their split. What has Marla Maples done since her divorce from Donald Trump? And will she vote for him for president? From her role on HBO's The Righteous Gemstones to her mansion sale and taking up meditation, here is what happened to Donald Trump's second wife, Marla Maples. Marla Maples, born on October 27, 1963 in Cohota, Georgia, hailed from a family with diverse talents. Her mother, Anne Locklear. Maples balanced homemaking with a career in modeling, while her father, Stanley Edward Maples, wore multiple hats as a real estate developer, county commissioner, singer, and songwriter. During her schooling years at Northwest Whitfield High School in Tunnel Hill, Georgia, Maples was not only active in academics, but also immersed herself in extracurricular activities. She showcased her athletic abilities by playing basketball, demonstrated leadership skills as class secretary, and even claimed the title of homecoming queen during her senior year in 1980-1981. Remarkably, she returned in 1991 to crown the school's new queen during homecoming festivities. Post high school, Maples ventured into the world of beauty contests and pageants. Her journey included notable achievements such as winning the Miss Risaka Beach Poster Girl Contest in 1983, securing the runner-up position in the Miss Georgia USA pageant in 1984, and clinching the title of Miss Hawaiian Tropic in 1985. Despite briefly attending the University of Georgia in 1981, Maples chose to depart from college before completing her degree, opting instead to pursue her passions and interests outside of academia. Marla Maples' relationship with Donald Trump stirred significant public interest, particularly due to its controversial beginnings. Trump, who was married to his first wife, Ivana, at the time, met Maples in 1984. Their relationship soon became highly publicized, punctuated by at least one breakup. Amidst the media frenzy, Maples famously remarked that her experiences with Trump were the best sex I've ever had, according to a headline in the New York Post. Despite the turbulence, the couple welcomed their daughter, Tiffany Trump, into the world on October 13, 1993. The trajectory of their relationship took a turn after the tragic Long Island Railroad shooting on December 7, 1993. Maples claimed that this event prompted Trump to reassess his life, leading to a proposal. They exchanged vows on December 20, 1993, in a lavish ceremony held in New York City. Trump and Maples' wedding was a grand affair that captured the attention of New York City. Held at the iconic Plaza Hotel just a few months after the birth of their daughter Tiffany, the event was nothing short of extravagant. With over 1,000 guests in attendance, including notable figures like Mayor David Dinkins, Howard Stern, and O.J. Simpson, the wedding became the talk of the town. The reception was equally lavish, boasting an abundance of champagne and caviar to indulge the guests' palates. Maples looked resplendent in a white satin gown designed by Carolina Herrera, complemented by a borrowed $2 million tiara from Harry Winston. However, despite the opulence of the event and the glamorous attire, some observers noted a sense of detachment and formality. As humorously pointed out by writer Julie Baumgold in the New York Times, there wasn't a wet eye in the place. This tongue-in-cheek remark encapsulated the perception that the wedding was more of a perfunctory and transactional affair rather than a deeply emotional celebration of love. Indeed, their union was not without its challenges. Amidst the intricate tapestry of Donald Trump's romantic escapades, a startling revelation emerged from old FBI files in 2019, shedding light on a sensational love triangle involving Trump, Marla Maples, and 90s crooner Michael Bolton. The legal documents released years after the events hinted at a brief split between Trump and Maples, during which Maples allegedly entertained Bolton at her residence in the Trump Park condo building. According to the documents obtained by Inside Edition, 
Maples reportedly welcomed Bolton into her room following Trump's departure for a trip to the West Coast. Upon learning of the rendezvous, Trump candidly admitted to Vanity Fair in 1994 that he left her like a dog, giving Maples the freedom to explore her connection with Bolton. However, Trump's competitive nature and aversion to losing prompted him to woo Maples back into their relationship. In a twist worthy of a soap opera plot, Trump's strategic move culminated in his marriage to Maples in 1993, leaving Bolton sidelined. Interestingly, the FBI documents resurfaced during a legal case involving Maples' former publicist, Chuck Jones. Jones not only faced allegations of stealing nude photos and shoes from Maples, but also divulged details about her purported affair with Trump's bodyguard. In 1996, Trump dismissed his bodyguard, Spencer Wagner, following a controversial incident. Maples and Wagner were discovered together by a police officer under a lifeguard stand on a deserted beach at 4 always a.m. Despite both Mapless and Trump denying any wrongdoing, rumors circulated, fueled by conflicting accounts from Wagner himself and reports in tabloids like the National Enquirer. Ultimately, Mapley's and Trump's relationship faced its demise, leading to their separation in May 1997 and subsequent divorce on June 8, 1999. As part of their prenuptial agreement and divorce settlement, Maples is bound by a confidentiality agreement regarding their marriage, leaving many details shrouded in secrecy. Maples' marriage to Donald Trump was characterized by its tempestuous nature, marked by both scandal and eventual resolution. However, despite its tumultuous origins, the relationship that started in the scandal ultimately ended rather amicably. Reflecting on their marriage, Maples shared insights during a 2016 interview with Access Hollywood. I think you always hope in a marriage that you can bring the best out in each other, she remarked. But after many years, we realized we weren't. This acknowledgement underscores the complexity of their relationship and the challenges they faced as a couple. At the time of their divorce, insights from Trump's close confidants shed light on the dynamics at play within their marriage. Cindy Adams, a trusted friend of Trump and a columnist for the New York Post, provided perspective in an interview with People magazine. Adams suggested that while there may have been deep affection between Maples and Trump, the foundation of their relationship was primarily rooted in lust rather than enduring love. It was lust, not really love, Adams remarked. She loved him very much, but Donald is somebody who's in love mostly with himself. Despite its challenges, their marriage ultimately came to a resolution that allowed both parties to move forward with their lives. Maples' feelings toward Donald Trump and her former stepchildren remain a significant aspect of her life, even years after their divorce. During a candid moment on Oprah, where are they now? In 2013, Maples openly expressed her continued affection for the president-elect and her admiration for her former stepchildren. I still love Donald, she revealed, showcasing a lack of animosity towards her ex-spouse. Moreover, she expressed deep affection for Eric, Ivanka, and Donald Jr., emphasizing the bond she shares with them. I love Eric and Ivanka and Donnie so much, she affirmed, reflecting on the fond memories she cherishes from their time together as a family. Maples fondly recalled witnessing their growth and success over the years, acknowledging the impact it had on her. I had the chance to know them when they were young, and now to see how well they're doing just touches my heart, she remarked. Her emotional connection to her former stepchildren was evident as she confessed to becoming teary-eyed while watching them on The Apprentice. We watch The Apprentice, and I cry when I see the kids on it, she admitted, revealing her sentimental side. Maples' genuine affection and emotional attachment to Donald Trump and her former stepchildren offer a glimpse into the enduring bonds forged during their time together as a family. After divorce with Donald Trump, Marla Maples also took on the role of a devoted single mother to her daughter, Tiffany.
During her appearance on Oprah, Where Are They Now?, Maples opened up about her experience of raising Tiffany primarily on her own. Despite the involvement of Donald Trump in providing for Tiffany's education and other needs, Maples emphasized that she was the one who took care of the day-to-day -day parenting responsibilities. I've had a real blessing of being able to raise Tiffany as a single parent, Maples shared during the interview. Her daddy, of course, took care of school, her education, and some of our needs. But as far as the day-to-day -day parenting, I've been the one here. Despite their rocky history, Marla Maples has expressed a desire to mend fences with Ivana Trump, Donald Trump's first wife. While it's understandable that Ivana may still harbor resentment towards Maples for her role in the dissolution of her marriage, Maples has made efforts to extend an olive branch and move past the animosity. In a candid interview with the New York Post, Ivana revealed that Maples had reached out to her, expressing a desire to apologize. However, Ivana made it clear that she was not ready to accept the apology, citing the pain caused by the breakdown of her marriage to Donald Trump. She broke my marriage, Ivana asserted in response to Maples' attempt to make amends. Maples, on the other hand, responded to Ivana's reluctance with a sense of sadness and understanding. In a statement to People magazine, Maples expressed her genuine wish for Ivana's well-being and emphasized her love for Ivana's children. Despite any lingering resentment, Maples extended a heartfelt plea for forgiveness, hoping that Ivana could find it in her heart to let go of any animosity towards her. In addition to her roles as a mother and public figure, Marla Maples has also pursued a career in acting and entertainment. Her foray into the spotlight began with various guest appearances and cameo roles in television shows and films. In 1991, she served as a special guest timekeeper at WWF WrestleMania 7th and made a cameo appearance in the popular television series Designing Women. Maples also showcased her talent on Broadway, joining the cast of the Will Rogers Follies in 1992. Her acting credits further expanded with appearances in television shows like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Something Wilder, alongside her then-husband, Donald Trump. Throughout her career, Maples ventured into film, starring in movies such as Maximum Overdrive, Executive Decision, and Happiness. She also graced the stage in off-Broadway productions like Love, Loss, and What I Wore. In 2016, Maples stepped onto the dance floor as a contestant on season 22 of Dancing with the Stars, partnering with professional dancer Tony Dovolani. Although her journey on the show ended in week four, Maples continued to make appearances on various platforms, including as a guest co-host on The View. Marla Maples' presence in the entertainment industry has been notable, spanning various television shows and projects over the years. While her divorce from Donald Trump led her to dial back on her projects for a period, Maples has gradually re-emerged onto the screen in recent years. In 2019, it was announced that Maples had secured a recurring role as Gay Nancy on the popular HBO comedy series The Righteous Gemstones. This marked a significant return to television for Maples as she joined the cast of the acclaimed show. Throughout her three-decade-long career, Maples has graced the screens of numerous hit television shows, including Happiness, Spin City, and The Nanny. Her versatility as an actress has allowed her to take on various roles, showcasing her talent and range on both the small and big screens. Following her divorce from Trump, Maples took a step back from the spotlight, focusing on other endeavors and aspects of her life. However, in the last eight years, she has made a resurgence, making appearances on popular shows like Dancing with the Stars and gracing numerous red carpets with her presence. Beyond entertainment, Maples has embraced opportunities to inspire and motivate others. She serves as a keynote speaker with the London Speakers Bureau, focusing on topics such as women's empowerment, wellness, and spirituality. Maples has also participated in events like the Summer of Peace Summit and the Global Summit on Science, Spirituality, and Environment, where she shared insights on peace-building and self-transformation. 
In 2018, Maples was a guest speaker on the Journeys of Faith podcast with Paula Ferris, further showcasing her commitment to sharing meaningful messages with audiences worldwide. In addition to her career in entertainment, Marla Maples is also known for her spiritual pursuits, particularly her practice of Kabbalah. Kabbalah is an ancient form of Jewish mysticism that delves into the spiritual aspects of Judaism, offering insights into the nature of the universe and the human soul. Maples has been open about her journey with Kabbalah, often sharing glimpses of her spiritual practice on social media platforms like Instagram. Through posts and images, she provides a window into her devotion to this esoteric tradition, showcasing the rituals and teachings that resonate with her. According to a report by Vanity Fair, Maples credits her faith in Kabbalah with helping her navigate the challenges of her divorce from Donald Trump. In an interview, she revealed that Kabbalah taught her valuable lessons about personal responsibility and empowerment, enabling her to move forward with resilience and strength. Embracing the principles of Kabbalah, Maples found a sense of inner peace and clarity amidst life's uncertainties. Marla Maples's relocation to Florida has sparked speculation and garnered attention from various media outlets, including the Miami Herald. Reports suggested that Maples was following her daughter Tiffany and other members of the Trump family to Florida, and Maples herself seemed to confirm these rumors. In 2021, she shared a selfie proudly displaying her Florida driver's license and shared several photos of herself enjoying the state's beautiful beaches in the following months. This move marked a significant transition for Maples, who had previously resided in New York since 2016. Before her move to Florida, Maples made headlines for selling her lavish mansion in Los Angeles at a substantial profit. According to property records and real estate sources cited by Trulia, Maples pocketed a handsome profit of $850,000 from the sale. The sprawling estate boasts five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and luxurious amenities such as a swimming pool, tennis court, and balcony offering scenic views of the surrounding mountains. Maples had purchased the property for $1.35 million back in 1999, making her successful sale a testament to the increasing value of prime real estate in the Los Angeles area. Marla Maples' current relationship with the Trump family appears to be amicable and supportive. Despite her divorce from Donald Trump, Maples has maintained a positive rapport with him and his relatives. A notable instance of this camaraderie was observed last year when Maples and her daughter Tiffany joined Donald and Melania at Mar-a-Lago for Easter brunch, as reported by People magazine. This gesture suggests that Maples remains integrated into the Trump family's social circles and participates in their traditions. In recent years, Maples has embraced a lifestyle focused on personal growth and well-being. Her social media presence reflects her commitment to activities that nurture her soul, such as yoga and meditation. In a 2022 TEDx talk, Maples shared insights into her journey toward inner peace, emphasizing the importance of embracing joy without reservation. This philosophy not only motivates Maples, but also resonates with her followers, inspiring them to prioritize their happiness and fulfillment. Beyond her personal endeavors, Maples is actively engaged in philanthropic initiatives. Over the past three decades, she has collaborated with various non-governmental organizations and charities, channeling her efforts toward meaningful causes. Maples's philanthropic portfolio includes facilitating spiritual programs aimed at conflict management among Israeli and Palestinian children. Additionally, she has been a staunch advocate for gender equality in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, careers through her involvement with the Gig City Girls organization. As the political landscape continues to evolve, Questions linger about Marla Maples' potential support for her ex-husband, Donald Trump, in future elections. Despite their divorce over two decades ago, Maples still finds herself in the spotlight regarding her past relationship with the former president. While she typically avoids discussing politics, 
Maples recently hinted at her willingness to support Trump if he decides to run for president again. In a statement to U.S.-based paparazzi Lions Share News in January of this year, Maples expressed her love for the country and indicated her belief that the Trump family is committed to serving the nation's best interests. Although she refrains from being explicitly political, Maples emphasized her desire to contribute positively to the country in any way possible. Maples' remarks echo previous comments she made on the Today Show, where she revealed Trump's long-standing aspirations for the presidency dating back to the 1990s. She also alluded to the challenges their political ambitions posed for their children, suggesting that they mutually agreed to delay Trump's pursuit of political office at the time. Addressing past rumors, Maples also clarified misconceptions about her relationship with singer Michael Bolton, debunking claims of infidelity during her marriage to Trump. She affirmed that while she and Bolton had dated, it was not while she was married to Trump. As speculation surrounding Trump's potential return to politics persists, the question remains. Will Marla Maples cast her vote for her ex-husband in the future? Only time will tell. But Maples' recent statements suggest a willingness to support the Trump family's endeavors despite their complex history. And that wraps up today's video. What aspects of Marla Maples' journey resonate with you the most? Comment down below to let us know. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to support use. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.